hello everybody and welcome back to the channel also welcome to another one look at this so today's video is going to be actually all about the brake pads we're going to be replacing the brake pads in the car why is because you know what i don't know when they were replaced and i can't really tell too much like from here so just to be on the safe side i'm going to do them the car's already jacked up i removed all the lug nuts for this tire but the bad thing is that look one of these suckers got stripped these things have not been actually taken off for quite a long time if that one was that corroded <sighs> okay so now i'm glad i'm doing the brake pads i'm gonna see like how the rotors are looking but they seem pretty good though but we'll see right now once i take off the wheel let's see if i could take it off fingers crossed i can because that thing's still there i'm about to get a hammer okay everybody all right so i got Ooh, i almost dropped my phone <laughs> anyways i got some good news and some bad news all right so look this was one hell of a job look as soon as i took off my tire and rim so what i did and what i found out was best for me was use this this is a actual uh an impact socket adapter and placed it right here where the tip of this rod is and then got a hammer and started hammering that thing out so this sucker was being hammered out and pushed out by this and the hammer so it kept on moving outwards 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 then as soon as it got to a, a actual flat surface where it couldn't go no more and this couldn't reach in there no more i got my drill bit on top of this rod and then i started hammering that down and then it started getting in in and it went inside and went more and more and more and more and more and more until i had enough room to get some pliers and pull it out that's what i did to get this rod out this rod out and this one too Whew. that was one the hell of a job man but i did it all right and once i did that i was able to take off this spring took that off and then what i did was remove so you see this right here so this is the brake line, that the thing that I'm moving. I removed the bolts that was actually keeping it in place within the knuckle. Why? Because the second that I actually moved everything right here, there was a little bit of actual room that I can actually just move the caliper around because it was actually attached to this metal line, brake line. So in order to make myself more room, I had to actually break loose the actual rubber brake line that was bolted onto the knuckle. Once I got that done, I managed to actually just fall into another issue. So what I had to do was actually push down the pistons into these actual shells so they can make more room. And I bought the kit. Well, I rented the kit from O'Reilly's and it wouldn't do justice because there's no holes right here to place the kit down and push down the pistons towards the shell. So what I did was actually place this, this right here, this wooden hammer. I put it through the piston right here and I got my other hand on the end and got this hand right here and started pulling towards myself. So it can actually just try to push down the piston down towards the shell and that's what I did with every single every single piston that's the best way to do it it's going to take some force it is but it is what it is instead of actually you know having to open the the brake line to you know remove all this brake fluid you can just do what I did as soon as you actually crack open this bowl right here which opens the the line to your reservoir and leaks out brake fluid you can do that 
to actually soften up the piston so you can just push them down with with the finger but at the end of the day you're gonna have to actually do this and some more work at the end because you gotta actually remove all the air you gotta put more brake fluid you gotta go through a procedure you have to actually do this a couple of times from the top you gotta do this with every single caliber which is actually very annoying all right it's extremely annoying so do my way it's much better okay so this is what i'm talking about all right so you take your wheel off so you got that far and then you take all your rods which is one right here another one right there and i already told you how to remove those if you have those means of course and then once you take those off you take the little bracket off right here the little metal piece this one didn't have it for some reason and then after that you remove these 19 millimeter bolts yeah the one that's actually like glossy that's the one and this one as well there's two of them so you remove those and then you're able to actually move your caliber away from the rotor but I also recommend that you remove the bracket this is the bracket which it has two bolts one right there and one right here you remove those so you can have extra space to move your caliber away from the rotor then once you remove the rotor it's right there you just place it down and the way you remove the rotor it's very simple all you got to do is just just move it away from the wheel bearing there's no bolts connected to it nothing like that it's just it's just there that's it and then what you got to do is you got to bolt back the caliper to the knuckle which are those two bolts that I was telling you about. And then you have this. The caliper bolted onto the knuckle. So now, what you gotta do is this. You gotta get yourself a hammer. And like I said, push these two pistons down with this. All right? And like I also mentioned that have one hand pushed down, down, and the other hand over here push the opposite way. So you can both, so both hands can work simultaneously towards one goal. All right, and that's for these two pistons right here that are exposed. And then for these two pistons right here that are on this side that you can't see, all you gotta do is just slide this over here and grip this with one hand and you're already gripping this other end with the other hand and then push towards yourself so you're pushing down and closing the gap on those pistons and that's how you actually do it without having to open up the bleeder valve for the brake fluid because if you do that then you have to do a whole lot more steps after this